Kennard, the engineering manager here at Spiral X, here to show you our new, completely zero emission ESG compatible VTEX accumulator system. Right now, we have it hooked up to a Series 4 A frame, just uh, for ambient air heat exchange unit. That's going to feed into our standard accumulator tank. Uh, but what we got new here is a dual electric pump system zero emissions and we have made it run more efficiently uh, using plc controls and minimize the amount of level switches needed to create the same amount of function or even more function uh, i'll take you to the hmi overview screen and at a glance you get to see the status of everything that's happening on this skid currently uh, I'll take you through a brief rundown of just the overall function and then I'll get uh, a little more detailed into the data logging and alarm history and, and things like that. So pretty simple setup here. You got a low and a high level switch and all the control gets done in the PLC programming. So we're in simulation mode right now and I'm just going to simulate the low level turning on and uh, this is just to, to prime the system, let it know that liquid is inside of the tank right now now if the second level switch turns on it will indicate that liquid has risen to the next level where it will turn your pump on now under normal conditions it will immediately go back below level switch 2 and your pump will stay running until it reaches ls1 again goes back up condensate begins to increase again It'll go to LS1, it'll hit the LS2 mark, and it now alternates your pumps. This is to increase the pump life between your, or increase the pump life between the two pumps, and also allow you to switch back and forth between pumps, let's say if you ever need to uh, work on a pump or replace a pump because uh, it's not working properly. Uh, and I can show that now. If, for whatever reason, your condensate rises to LS2, and we right now we have it set to a 10 second timer if after 10 seconds liquid is not able to be purged back below ls2 it will kick on your secondary pump now let's say we kick it on and everything works great it was just a lot of condensate and both pumps were able to dispel it everything will work as usual now let's say something was wrong with the pump or there is just way too much condensate being created, uh, abnormal conditions, your, after 10 seconds, your backup pump kicks on like normal, then after an additional five seconds, if it is still not able to purge that liquid, it will send it into bypass that you see up here. It has now been in system bypass and you get VTEC skid bypass alarm. This gives you a, a lot of high level signals that you can program your PLC on site to have ESD conditions, whatever you'd like. Uh, and also the five second and 10 second timers are adjustable. So if I want to have a 10 second timer for your bypass instead, you just switch it to 10 seconds and it's business as usual. It'll go into normal function again. And that just gives you some time. There is a cutoff timer, so you can't leave it on for too long. And then it'll, cause we wanted to mitigate the chance of liquid rising up out of the tank before you have the timer sending it to bypass. Uh, other great features that are going to really, really help you for EPA standards, especially with the New Mexico laws put in place, we have alarm history. Everything that has gone on since we've had this system on has data logged it, timestamp, date stamp, and what is happening. You can always go back to your overview. If you're ever out of the bypass, you can acknowledge. Go right here. And it will acknowledge that you've seen the alarm and clear it for you. Also during testing, we have manual mode where you can start your pumps individually. Just if you ever need to do a clocking test or rotation test, anything like that and then just switch it back into auto mode very easily. We can get into advanced monitor monitoring with uh, monitoring your PSV temp. This will let you know 
if you're ever going into, or if your PSV is ever popping, we can go into the contactor temp, the contactor pressure, all of these things that are wanting or needing to be monitored on site, you can actually hook up into our own PLC that will then data log all of this and send it to what we call the ESG.cloud network. So let's say you want all of the information, the data that we're logging in the PLC box, you want it to go to your site or you want to be able to monitor it remotely, but you don't have an on-site PLC, that's not a problem. We have developed a Modbus internet gateway, otherwise known as a MIG. And uh, this is just a, a setup we've created that will easily read everything in here on this PLC through power and ethernet. And what it does is every couple minutes, it will take the data that it has logged, send it up into the cloud, and it will piggyback off of the nearest cell tower. And that's where it sends as that's its highway to send all of its information to the esg.cloud where we can monitor it on our website it's a, a dedicated server up in the cloud every single customer gets their own dedicated server so there's no risk of, of site-wide hacking or, or things like that it's all encrypted and this will monitor all of the data here and give it to you in a nice crisp platform and the amount of control you have here is, is just staggering. You can assign emails and users to it. So you can dictate each operator with a specific site, allow them to get text messages when uh, an alarm happens. If you, get by, if you get a bypass alert, it can automatically send a text message alert to whatever user you decide. And they can go make the necessary repairs, changes, resets, whatever they need to do, and respond on there with the actions that they perform. They come in here and clear the system, make sure that everything looks good on ESG.cloud, and then go from there. Uh, we also have the data logging, timestamps on ESG.cloud, the information of where the site is located, all via a QR code that you can get from this box. We'll have the QR code posted on the front of the HMI. These are all things that the, ES, or that the EPA is starting to require. They come on site, they want to be able to see at a glance that this is indeed the unit that is on site and the one that is supposed to be on site, that it's functioning properly. We have uh, at a glance through the year percentages that has been in bypass, so you can show them that in a nice little one sheet document. Uh, it can approximate how much uh, emissions is done based on the amount of time it's been in bypass and since you have a zero emission system that only reduces the amount of emissions that it claims uh, so very very neat system here and uh, very very simple to use and easy to monitor and it get, pretty much gives you all of the answers that the epa will be asking So now that we've gone over the function of our PLC HMI setup, we can take a quick look in the box here. Give you a real quick overview. You got your HMI and PLC connection here, and then you have your ethernet switch that you can then connect to with RJ45 and feeds in through here and out there. You can take off site to your PLC. Anything that is monitored, any data that is captured in this box, you can send to your PLC for your own monitoring. Uh, we also have some dry contact relays right here. One for each of the pumps whenever they are supposed to be on and one for whenever you enter into bypass. And uh, these are dry contact switches. We just give you a little bit more control there. We also have in here the motor starters with built-in overload protection. And they have uh, also built-in signals to where if system tells it that the pump should be running but the power is not getting to it these will i can quickly show you these will turn on and give you an alert as well so we say here the pump should be on you have here we don't have power running through the pump so it says okay this should be on but we're not getting the required power and then you just have the 10 second response time for the second pump it just went off as well
So lots of control in here, lots of monitoring and letting you know when something is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And you see the dry contacts are there. 